the Aurora trout. And uh, this is a, a real beautiful little fish. It's um, it's only found in Tomogamy area as far as I know. And uh, they have established this Aurora Trout Nature Preserve. It's also called the Nature Reserve. And it also is known as a fish sanctuary for the Aurora Trout, which is very similar to to a brook trout from what I read on the back of this map. And uh, let's see, here's a real, real good picture showing the colorations of the Aurora Trout. And uh, it is named so because the belly of the trout resembles the uh, certain colors of Aurora Borealis, which is also known as Northern Lights. Now this little trout is not particularly substantial uh, as I said, it's 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 actually identical to a brook trout, except for its colorations, its beautiful orange underbelly, which is very very soft. I have not personally had the chance to rub his belly of the aurora trout, but I I have heard I've heard about of from some very very uh, very distinguished fisher people that. Uh, it is it is as soft as the underbelly of of the catfish that uh, live in uh, Lake Nosbonsing, and that those are known to have the softest underbellies of any fish mm. on this planet. So um, we are about to swim across the northern tip of this little lake here in uh, in hopes of. Uh, in hopes of, of a, a aurora trout maybe swimming by and, and brushing up against us while we're, while we're in the water. And uh, it's just a little, little tip, just a tip there. And, uh, and we're very happy to be here in aurora trout country today. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I, hope, I hope this inspires you to... Uh, to feel a, a sense of kinship and and uh, and reverence for the aurora trout, which is a very special fish in my opinion. So the tip of the lake here, I'm gonna swim across the lake with all my clothing in this here bag and uh, I, I am hoping that I do I do make contact with with a a rover trout and wish me luck wish me luck then God have mercy That's